for the winner of Snake Eyes versus Nephew. Their match was very close, you know, and these two play a lot against mm -hmm. each other online pretty consistently, so they're quite familiar with each other. It's a very back and forth affair between those two, and so we'll have to see if Nephew can get the job done mm -hmm. in the run back or if Snake Eyes gets another chance against that monstrous obstacle course. Snake Eyes had to kind of sit and take uh, a little bit of a backseat towards what had happened between him and Reynolds, and of course, these guys are going at it with the emotes. It's the, it's the classic, but we'll see whether or not Nephew has uh, made those adjustments to get this W against Snake Eyes, or will Snake Eyes prevail again? You gotta know, chat, I have to ask, are you a spammer where you just spin the stick or mash a bunch of different emotes, or are you like, I pick and choose? Which one are you? you gotta let me know, because I am a pick and choose. I am a pick and chooser, yeah. Yeah, these two are, they are mash. To be fair, it's a hybrid of both, right? I'll pick yeah. one direction and I'll just tap it in a certain yeah, okay. rhythm. Yeah, you I know? like that. It's, it's like they're that. laughing or they're kind of, you know, animated and whatnot. That was a combo. That one was not. Nowhere to go if you're a nephew there, right? You don't have any drive gauge, so you get beat up there in that first game. A little, little scrambly one. Put himself in burnout early, which is pretty tough. And with no meter, no way out of that drive impact a lot of times. Pretty tough. I still hear your voice in my head when I hear or when I think about this. Thank you for scary. Like it's the, it's yeah. not even nephews anymore. The nephew? It's yours. Yeah, you just go. Yeah. I saw Defeat Lee Ooh. put the exact same thing earlier this morning, and boom. For a very good reason, right? Zangief do be scary. Zangief scary, being man. able to tuck you in. Oh, oh no. Power bomb. Ugh. It's bad enough that it's just like one to slam him down midair because you yeah. get all of that force, but to pick him up off the ground and do it again. How often do you see people post clips of like their level one whiffing? So Ooh. like, you know, yeah, it just doesn't hit. Bam, the emotes again. Game one, not so good there for Nephew. Just really couldn't establish and get things going. And I think a little too scrambly and fast for his taste. Like, you know, Zangief doing that to you feels pretty bad. I love the check against the walk back. Nephew against Snake Eyes now in game two. After we saw the really pretty fast beat down. You get a different look now from Nephew. Yeah, double stock. So two stories here. And yeah, pretty brutal spot now for Snake Eyes. Tick throw, not enough to kill, but that'll do it. You have to parry that right there, so that's like your only way out of that, parrying or throwing or evading. You can't drive impact back, you just don't have the life. And that's something you're going to see more often than not nowadays. I think people are starting to kind of uh, get used to seeing where their life bar is at and just throwing out that DI to test the opponent. Yeah. See if your own reactions will doom you, right? Which is a really smart idea. And I love that back and forth with the system. I think that was really, yeah. really smart. Very clever on the side of Capcom to implement that type, uh, type of game. Oh. And this is it. This is just what Nephew wants to do, right? Like, establish like this. I love Beautiful. the air throw. I like that. Yeah, more often than not, he would just go for like the uppercut, but yeah. seeing that back throw, sorry, the air throw instead, that is just automatically a back throw, essentially. Very smart, for sure. Definitely something that's very practiced, right? He's definitely done that many times. Yeah. All too far for the jab to hit. And Sandy Jab has more range than Crouching for Teeth, so he tried his best. That could have been dangerous too, just drive Oh, and I love that whiff punish off the crouching jab. Uh-huh, puts him in burnout too. Bad spot for Nephew. Jump in lands, no counter here. Doesn't go for the double drive rush for the kill, actually. All right. And he finds his way in with that little jumping medium kick, so. Nicely done from Snake. You think you would have had enough? Because he would drive rush forward, be in burnout. I don't think he'd be able to continue the combo in the air, right? He could do a uh, crouching medium. Down, hell stab, yeah, afterwards. Okay. But, you know, hard to stay in turn oh. up mid. Oh, God. This is your last oh, I love that quote, man. Damn. Ugh. Big damage, a lot of drive gauge loss. And the pavement stays like that, by the way, for yeah. a very long time. Oh. That's super sick. And I like that as well. We talked about the OS against the drive rush, right? You can't do an OD uppercut, but a level three, just as effective, if not more. Yeah. Oh, bait on the throw again. Second time we've seen that in this game here. Nephew puts Snake in a really brutal spot. Yeah, this spot is so gnarly. Ooh, Got a guess for the game. And again, if you jump that, he's just going to air throw you back into the corner. And then, you know, after that, DI is a bad spot. Overhead low is a bad spot. Throw will kill you. You know, tough guesses that Snake Eyes has to make on defense. And that's not the only set of layers that Nephew has, right? He could do like an instant jump medium punch into like OD dive kick. There's so many different looks that he could have. And I love that trade off for Snake Eyes. Nine times out of ten, right? Yeah. The only time that I, I actually win it is when he would be low on life. Yeah, he's dead. And, that, you know, you get a lot of time to walk across the screen on that uh, forward heavy kick on punish counter, so mm -hmm. pretty good. Man, he just does it again, now puts himself in burnout. This is the exact same thing we saw in the first game where right? Nephew got uh, DI'd into the corner and he didn't have meter to save himself. Oh, the Jolly Green Giant just moving on in there against Nephew. This is kind of difficult. Uh, yeah, you thought you could get the reset. Nephew was turning that butter against the Giant. 
Yeah, ready for it this time. See snake buffering now. No meter available for Nephew though, which makes Drive Impact very scary. Although now, out of that burnout, snake one guess away. Ooh, nice stuff on that crouching like a four framer. Man's got legs for days. Good old Alex Myers versus Rob TV matchup. Looking at it right now. Look at this. Again, Snake Eyes stalking his prey little by little. <laughs> Almighty! Punish counter, too. So it's huge damage. Gets rid of a lot of your drive gauge. Ooh. Whip punish. Oh, whip punish right back at you. And every time you get whip punished, you get punish countered. So your drive gauge goes down, which is super tough. Oh. <gasps> Oh, hit him with it. Yeah, just throw out some of these spaces. We haven't seen that look yet, actually, have we? Yeah, not really that much in this matchup, which is cool. You know, obviously, Dre has a great crouch. Medium kick, that throw bait again has been such a big factor. Snake Eyes has a lot of resources here, though. Mm -hmm. That level three on churn is scary. Yeah, that's why he jumps Ooh. four on wake up. And he Wasn't tucks ready. in. Ugh. Not oh, enough, though. that's so scary. You could just throw out the drive. Mm, actually, I think Dre might survive a little bit. Ooh. Friends oh, level two. man. I like this choice, too, for Nephew. Bates to level oh, three. Oh, that was sick! Not quite dead, though! Ah, and the delayed button there. Snake knowing that Nephew is still afraid of some kind of reversal there. What other reversal could it have been? I didn't get to see Snake Eyes' meter. Yeah, I mean, he had all of his resources. He had so all of it? Okay, so that could have been, like, maybe a level two. Level two or level three, right? Which is very scary. Oh, true, 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 true. Yeah, I don't blame you if you're nephew, but level three, you're still within range, baby. Like, yeah. <laughs> that walk back was not going to be helpful for you. Chopping so it scary. up. Snake Eyes has looked great in neutral so far, too. He's had really good, like, whip punishes. He's initiated oh, yeah. well. Snake yeah. Eyes in neutral? That's always been, like, the, the equation for success, I feel like, for Snake Eyes. Yeah. I like the adjustment on the combo there, too, to do uh, crouching medium punch instead of health stab. Mm -hmm. That's fair, yeah. Oh. Look at him go. Stuffing. <laughs> Over and over, the big dude all the way to the wall. Oh man, then fist to face a bunch of times over. This back is going to be everything for Nephew in terms of momentum and also gaining back that drive gauge. Unless, of course, the Ooh. Jolly Green Giant steps up to your door. Anti air, you know it. There yeah. he is. I told you he was coming one way or another. Eat your greens, baby. Mm -hmm. And an easy peasy double drive rush confirmed. Cleans it up. Snake Eyes now set point. You know, and you can just feel it. He's walking you down. No check that time on the drive rush. So a lot of drive gauge spent from Nephew, but gets a lot of cream, uh, corner carry and screen space on these. Oh. Still lands on the fireball. It allows Nephew to walk up. Option select this time with the uppercut. Yeah, no uh, air throw. Maybe word it was a little late or something. Ooh, this is a little spooky, though, this spot. All Ooh, right. Just in time. You know, we caught Snake Eyes at the startup of that headbutt. They jump back to you. Snake playing very respectfully. That's big, though. Spends level two. Gonna take the Oki after, I'm sure. He gets Lariat here, or yeah, Heavy Kick. Oh, the That's charge. So cool. I like that. That was a really cool setup from Snake, although just the up forward from uh, Nephew to get out of there. He spends the level three, so he's gonna get the kill, but he's out of all of his resources here. Snake has some really cool stuff, but he still has to try so hard. I like that setup too, the, the jumping heavy kick uh, setup. He can also make the jumping heavy kick whiff and then land yes. an immediate SPD too. Which I was I was just about to ask you, if you let it go at a slightly later time yeah. and then you, you try to attempt for the full charge, he lands earlier than it comes out, right? Yeah, he can definitely do that as a, like a whiff setup. Oh. Backdash from Nephew, now trying to see the other side of that mix up. Back goes big, has the corner now. And waiting Damn, that breakdown was sick. I've never heard that part of the song. Oh. Option select again, this time forward medium punch. Yeah. And the walk down begins again, Snake having to chase across the whole stage here. Waiting for the driver so we can stuff it. Counter hit confirm on the chop so you can get all three. Try to jump maybe or backdash or something. Got clipped low. And I like that. Yeah, just charging from full screen actually because of the fact that he doesn't have drive. Go A lot of drive games left in it. Oh, big. Yeah, nice confirm from Snake Eyes again. Jackhammer. Side switch. The damage right in front of him, too. Yeah. <gasps> Counter sweep. Burnout now. Snake, no meter. Double burnout. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, the big stop against the dash. Ooh. One more touch away. Really scary. Oh, he got hit by the fireball. It's hard to find the chip here, too. Oh, man. No that way. That should just do it. I don't know. Oh, he built it back. You hate to see it. He built back the drive gauge right at the last second. Nephew looking for the chip. And Snake Eyes surviving. I love the idea, just the timing was so unfortunate.
That's crazy. We were looking at it like Snake Eyes was going to be cooked yeah. for that game. We were thinking we were going to see a two-on-two -two setup between Snake Eyes and Nephew, but no, just in the nick of time, getting the drive gauge back. That is heartbreaking for Nephew. Yeah, that is. So, I mean, it's so tough to measure, too, actually, whether that's going to happen or not. I wonder, I mean, he, he blocked the first part, too, and then he got the drive gauge back, so the, I think there must have been a gap, no? Because I think if it was a true block string, he would have just got chipped out. Oh, man, that is such an unusual spot for sure. I cannot blame Nephew for trying that because, you know, Burnout was still a factor for Zangief and everything. So it was very smart of him to try that. Just situationally such a weird spot. And then man. he ends up just recovering that Burnout gauge. Brutal. He never thought the supercomputer would get a miscalculation like that. Yeah, I know, right? Mm -mm. Beat Gotta it. update the firmware. Beating a supercomputer at chance? Never could happen. No, not ever. Yeah, but... Change the batteries on the TI-83. Yeah, very fun set between these two. Definitely very fun to watch. You know, both of them stream, as I'm sure all of Ooh. you are aware. Check out their streams and uh, check out all the content that they produce. Very fun players and very strong players. You know, mm -hmm. being in top three of this tournament, you know that they uh, they played quite well to get here. And it was a really fun set to watch. I think their set in winners and losers here were both two of my favorite sets of the weekend so mm -hmm. far. They were really oh, scrappy, yeah. cool, fun sets. And uh, I, I enjoyed watching them a lot. You can't expect it to go any other way. Really. Oh. Look at that. Yeah, you. I think you were right. Oh. I think that block that... that... <laughs>